Thank you. Uh, here in the Nine on Your Side newsroom, uh, we pay tribute to the history of programming here at our station. Shows like the weekend morning Uncle Al show in 1957, a young man named Larry Smith started working on that show and he would go on to be in charge of all of the featured puppets. The Larry Smith puppets, uh, the works exhibit is now on display at the Greater Cincinnati Broadcast History Museum at the Voice of America Museum in Westchester. It features a discussion with Smith's former co-worker Wayne Martin. Larry died last month at the age of 79, but his work will never be forgotten. Joining me now today are Wayne Martin and from the museum and also um, we have Mike Martini. Thank you, Mike Martini. Sorry, the Chiron was wrong there. Nice to meet both <laughs> nice of you. Nice to meet you too. And Thank you, you have uh, some non-human friends here with you. I yeah, recognize some of the puppets. We've got Hattie, Snarfy, Rudy and Teaser. And They're teaser. just some of the uh, 46 puppets that are currently on display now. And so you, you were really good friends uh, with Larry. Yeah, Larry was my mentor. I met Larry when I was four years old. Uh, saw him on TV for the first time when I was three and uh, I started building my own puppets and Larry started recommending me for shows when I was 10 years old and uh, we were friends my whole life. So, How did he get started? Larry got started, he saw puppets in a uh, coloring book and he didn't understand what it was and he took it to his mother and he said, what is this? And she mm -hmm. explained to him that they were marionettes and she had actually seen a puppet show a year or so earlier at the Ohio State Fair and so she explained to him what puppets were and she took him to, I think it was Reich's department store to see a puppet show that Christmas. And Larry just started building his own puppets. And, and the rest went was history. There. Yeah. And part of that history will be at the museum. Tell us about the collection. Very much so. Uh, we have on exhibit 46 of Larry's puppets and uh, they're on uh, display up there. But tomorrow night we're gonna have a special event. We're gonna celebrate Larry's career. Wayne came in from Boston for this event and mm -hmm. so we're gonna chat with uh, Larry about Larry. Uh, chat with Wayne about Larry and uh, let folks to go look at the exhibit and see the puppets and, uh, and relive some great memories. And with some video clips too. And either one of you, talk about his legacy and uh, his impact on children's programming and puppetry in general. Uh, it was amazing. There's nothing to compare it to nowadays. Um, you know, back in the day, I wouldn't know where to start. Uh, you know, he was number one in the ratings. Uh, he was uh, the only artist to be on every television station at one time or another in the tri-state area. And um, it was amazing. He also had the first adult puppet show, strictly for adults. It was syndicated in the early 60s. That was a full decade and a half before the Muppets. And uh, <laughs> so it, it's quite amazing what he, what he accomplished. Um, as far as the collection, uh, what are some of your favorite uh, things or things that people might see that they've never seen before? Well, when I was growing up after school every day, I'd watch Rudy and Teaser right there in uh -huh. the clubhouse. Uh, but uh, there's just so many. There's uh, some examples of the contemporaries, the show from the 60s. There's some of his uh, puppets that he used for commercials, some of his marionettes. Uh, it's a great variety. Wow. And, and was he still creating? I mean, uh, doing uh, things? Right up till uh, he retired in 2005. Okay. And uh, he, he stopped uh, creating after that. Okay. But uh, yeah, he was active right up to that point. Wonderful. And so, uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just going to say, it's pretty amazing. These are works of art. I mean, he yeah. made everything. He had to sew. He had to learn how to airbrush paint, all of that. Uh, so At 17. That's wow. These, these puppets were actually designed when and he was 17. And it all started when he was just a little boy. Yes. Wow. Yes. So you never know where you're dreams will take you. That's right. exactly. Wonderful. So that collection will be there for how long? People uh, see the, it? It's uh, extended. Uh, the permanent collection will be there uh, anytime you want to come up. We're open on every weekend from 1 to 4. Okay. But the uh, show tomorrow night is at 730 at the Voice of America 8070 Tylersville Road in Westchester. All right. Thank you both so much for joining us. Thank Thanks. you for having us. All right. All right. Let's take a look.